Hi guys, thanks for coming back. Um, wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit today. So um, there are two things. One is is that I, I did uh, red beans and rice that everyone really liked. And uh, I recently did a, a video where I was talking about uh, vegan vegetarian stuff and, and using like sides for the holidays and stuff. And so I was like, well, you know, one of my favorite foods is my red beans and rice, and um, I knew it would be really easy to just kind of switch it to uh, a vegan, you know, recipe. And so that's why I want to show you how simple and how really great tasting it still is. And, you know, so it doesn't have to be so in as intimidating um, cooking vegetarian or vegan style. So, I got a couple tablespoons of olive oil, you know, just enough to da dance around the bottom of the pan. Just trying to get it hot. I see it's starting to. So, it's really basic. So I got like a cup of onion, half a cup of uh, red pepper I cut up, about half a cup of uh, celery minus one. And um, I'm going to I'm going to dump it in here, let it sizzle, I knew it was going to be a lot of stuff so I wanted to get it hot. Put a little test drive around. I was resealing my toilet, so I was kind of in a hurry this morning, getting run around and get this all done. I just wanted to kind of prove to myself that prep time, you know, if you want everything to look really pretty and perfect, um, yeah, it takes a little longer, but you know, down and dirty, get it cut up, it's not going to taste any different, believe it or not. And no one's even going to know. Just don't go too fast that so you cut your fingers off. Remember when food processors, you know, Cuisinart first came out, <clears throat> people want to use it for everything, you know, chopping stuff up. Well, it tends to, you know, kind of liquefy everything before you can uh, get it consistent. But anyway. All right. So I got a couple uh, jalapenos, nice fresh ones. Um, because I was chopping them up, I did take the seeds and the veins out. So it kind of cuts them back to kind of a spicy uh, um, green pepper. Definitely not as intimidating as a jalapeno. Looks so good, it smells so good. Still keeping it pretty toasty in there. I don't know if you can hear. So I got a couple of cloves of garlic because you need garlic in like everything you eat. It's good for you. And the onion had just started to soften, so I figure the the uh, garlic's gonna <clears throat> be my like alarm to tell me when I cooked it enough. You know, as soon as it gets really fragrant, I know I cooked it enough. <clears throat> so, you know, red beans and rice is—it's it, just—it's a really good meal, and you know, I, I just there's nothing like just putting it in a bowl, scooping a little uh, salsa on it. You know, I like hot salsa. But that's that's really all it has to be. It's it's good for you, um, and it's 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 a good switch up, you know, from your everyday meal kind of stuff. <clears throat> and I count to ten. But anyway, so this is like smelling pretty good, I think, right? Okay, so. 
One of the things I really like about this recipe, I'm watching some of the liquid cook out, is I never thought of this before, but just adding like a quarter cup of white wine. This is my, my bottle of cooking wine I keep in the fridge. <clears throat> quarter cup is like a big splash, okay? <clears throat> and you're not going to put too much in, trust me. It's okay. So now we're just going to cook it up. You know, whenever you get the big bottles of wine, those 1.5 liters, um, you can get some terrific price on them when they go on sale. <clears throat> you know, you, you're, you know, wine prices are creeping up if you follow the news at all. But, um, you know, it's still, you know, $15 a bottle. I think that's pretty reasonable. And it's good enough to drink or cook with. Because <clears throat> don't cook with stuff you wouldn't drink, remember? Okay. So now, what do I have? I got a little flavor in here. So it's it's really simple. A tablespoon of chili, because that's kind of like the, the commonest thing that you want it for the color. Then it's a teaspoon of cumin, because I just love cumin. It's, you know, it's in curries and other, other Indian cooking. Um, <clears throat> and then a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, because it can be hot. I could make some really wicked, like dirty rice for this because it just it's got the smell and the look. <clears throat> Love it. <clears throat> All right, got a little chopped cilantro. I'm just going to toss in here. Normally, I put like a quarter cup. I was getting dirty looks for my rabbits because they wanted it, so I had to share because that's the kind of guy I am. All right, so <clears throat> in essence, all that wine I poured in here is basically cooked out, so it's kind of like a gravy on the bottom. And it's funny because chili powder is almost like a thickener. I find all the time when I add chili powder, like I put a whole bunch in, like when I make chili actually really helps to kind of thicken it up. All right, <clears throat> got me a can, sorry about that, got me a can of tomato sauce, your basic 15 ounce can. And at the price of this, let me tell you, it's good to the last drop. I haven't figured out why tomato products have just gone insane. I just keep out looking for BOGOs back. My grocery store's got them BOGO, so guess what I'm going to do today? Stock up. So I just want to get this back to simmer. It's getting there. It's getting real close. All right. So, what's the last thing I gotta do? I got two cans of red beans. There it goes. That's a good simmer. Two cans of red beans that I rinsed. Turn that down, it's kind of bubbling up there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is perfect. And you watch me make it. It's 
perfectly vegan. It tastes so good. I mean, there's just so much flavor. <clears throat> just want to get it back, get a little boil so we know it's good. So let's talk about the other half. <clears throat> so I was doing some experimenting. And um, I made a, I have a rice cooker. And I, I highly recommend it. I fought it and fought it for years. But it's perfect, you know. So it's, it's the larger capacity uh, Cuisinart. Basically plug it in, turn it on, it clicks off when it's done. Keeps it warm, <clears throat> which can overcook it. So the first thing you do is unplug it and lift the insert out. So it doesn't burn on the bottom. But, you know, you, you kind of play with it, work out what ratios you want to make it perfect. But, um, um, you know, everyone always cooks rice with butter, right? Well, you, you need some kind of oil in there because it's going to keep it from, uh, you know, boiling over. It's going to break up the bubbles. And you want salt to raise the uh, boiling point so that it's not boiling all over the place. So, as an experiment, I put a tablespoon of um, canola oil and a splash of uh, sesame oil. And let me tell you, the rice is really good. So, <clears throat> that is completely vegan too. And, um, you know me, I, I pour in, a, I don't measure. So I guarantee it wasn't much more than a splash of uh, sesame oil, because you really don't need more than that for flavor. But it's probably more like two tablespoons of canola oil, because that's about what you want to put in uh, if you're using butter. So, this is so amazing. You've watched this live. It didn't take any time at all, right? So, right there, you got a little beans and rice because I want to taste it, make sure it's good. And, um, uh, oh man. <clears throat> this is like perfect beans and rice. Red beans and rice. I mean, this is a staple. Like I said, I, I like it just like this. You can um, put a little salsa on it if you want to flavor it up, but I like putting, I put a lot of flavor in my beans, you know, some people just heat up a can of red beans and I'm like, no, that, that's not how you do it, man, you gotta, you gotta, gotta go all in if you're gonna do this, right? But, <clears throat> this is absolutely, I'm trying to find where I left my fork, this is absolutely, I hope it's cool enough I don't burn my mouth. Beautiful. It's really good. So once again, this is another suggestion, another recipe I wanted to come up with, answer some of those questions. But um, really appreciate you guys. Thank you. Comments are great. Um, subscribing is even better. But um, I got a whole bunch of recipes that I'm working on. I'm like really trying to step it up and crank some out, getting ready for the holidays and some different ideas. But, like I always say, thank you. I'll see you later, and I got some more videos that you'll really enjoy. Have a